Hello my soccer universe! Bad streaks do come to an end. Well, I had to help it a little bit. Yeah, I'm sounding a little bit uh, cryptic here. I will explain in a little... Uh, let's explain right now while I'm opening it. Um, I had a few parcels coming my way all the way from uh, England. <laughs> the good source for <laughs> everything uh, football jersey, soccer jersey related. And yeah, uh, two parcels that would have then uh, resulted in quite a few nice shirts are stuck in the mail because seemingly Royal Mail got hacked and they cannot send anything internationally. And I'm still waiting for them. For, 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 for a third parcel is already on its way here from classic football shirts. You can wait for that one. Seemingly they don't use Royal Mail, they use another shipping service and they're not affected. So yeah, at least one out of three is making it its way. However, I was really expecting that by the end of January, I will have a third uh, unpacking video, uh, the blue Milan shirt that I showed you. This has been waiting around uh, for quite a, for uh, like two, uh, two, uh, two and a half weeks or so. And so yeah, I honestly didn't want to spend much more money, but of course you have to check the listings on Wilhaben and so I did and I found a jersey I had I have a lengthy wish list there and I was about to you know get a few here 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 and there but it was always nah I don't want to spend that amount of money but there was one particular jersey which is very much related to this one that I while I'm not a big fan of it I always said I kind of wanna have it just for just because the collection doesn't quite feel complete uh, without it. And let's list it for, for 10. That would have already been a good price. Then I saw it for five and I said, okay, the seller, she really wants to get it, get rid of it. Let, let's put an offer for three. She accepted. So very, very happy for that price. Uh, given that the new price in 2016 for this one, was a whooping 90 and everyone wanted to have it around here now that i get it for three that's pretty cool we are talking of course the other one i have here the home jersey or uh, the away jersey i still think austria should play in this one at home but now we have here the home jersey from this awful euro i honestly was never really a big fan of this one because of the gradient and you know the white on the shoulders is all right in a way especially since it goes then into flag but i never really got it why it has to be with this gradient and then the eagle just by itself it was always a weird one i would say we'll hang it back there and I'll talk a little bit about it, why I, despite the Euros not going well, I honestly wanted to have it. And yeah, and let's see about it. Ta-da! Here it is. As I said, I always said that the away jerseys was the way better one because it has such a classic Puma look. This one, you know, gradients in the mid 2010s were all the rage. And this was kind of the first time that Austria went with a darker one up top. And then, of course, it is a proper gradient in a way. So it doesn't look all that bad. Um, I said it already around the Euros, everyone in Austria, we have qualified. I was a huge hype around the national team the last time that they really had a big hype uh, because they played attractive, they had good results, and of course, the Euros had to go south uh, in a really bad way. I mean, losing the first game to Hungary definitely did not help because everyone was, was expecting a win there. But, you know, that's a whole different story. Um, but I thought, you know, I have the two jerseys from Euro 2008, which also did not go all, all that well. I might as well get the both of 2016 and probably have to work on the ones for uh, 2020 as well. But there's also a positive end to the story. No, not the men's national team, the women's national team, actually. They were not wearing it very, very, very often. I think they were wearing it only, only once in their last group stage game against Iceland, which they won 3-0. But they wore this one in their successful 2017 run to the semi-finals, where they were mostly wearing this one. And just for that... This is not necessary for the men's team. I'm getting this for the women's team for having actually a very enjoyable summer there. 
Uh, the jersey, I have to say, for three bucks is in a really, really good condition. This is near perfect. Uh, the seller, uh, she said this was only worn once or twice and I can totally see that. Very happy with that one. I will in a future video look at it in a little bit more detail, but now. Yay, I have a new jersey and I'm still waiting, but at least I think it is, it should, I consider it like now a little bit like ketchup. Uh, everything is stuck. I needed to get a jersey to get, loosen everything up and get stuff out and get stuff rolling so that I will have a few more unpacking videos because my goal is kind of have one unpacking video per week. I already missed the week there. So yeah, there you go. Any case, let me know what you think about this jersey. I have now more red Austria jerseys than any other color, which I guess is all right. I still would like to have the ones from 98. And the one thing, and that's the last thing I'm, I'm going to say, I'm really, really mad. I Someone posted a 1990 home shirt for five bucks and I probably missed it for about half an hour because I was not on the app. That would have been because my first soccer related shirt was a t-shirt version of that one. I still want to have this one, of course, and uh, you cannot get it for a reasonable price. But yeah, nice red Austria jersey. Uh, it's not the greatest, but being from Austria, I think you need to have a few Austrian national team jerseys in the collection, especially since Austrian national team jerseys are not the most national team jerseys in my collection. That distinction goes to Italy ahead of France, and I think then it's Austria, but I think the Dutch are very close and maybe Argentina. I have to see. That will be another video. Any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I'll surely talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and clicking on the bell icon so that you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!